Philippians 2 verses 12 and 13. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, so now, not only as in my presence, but much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Work out your own salvation. Again, there are so many questions that persons have regarding this. Because we've learned the scriptures and the scripture says it's not of works lest any man should boast, but it's the gift of God. And so our salvation is a gift from God. Yes, it is. So how then is the scripture saying we must work out our own salvation? How do you work out your own salvation? What do you do to work out your own salvation? Do you, do you make your salvation happen? No. What it means is that we must work outwardly what God has done inwardly. Because the transformation, the change, the newness that comes from the work of the Holy Spirit and the salvation effect happens inside of us. But we now must ensure that we live out what has been brought to pass within us. So working out your salvation really means living it out. It means exhibiting that new man that you have become. It means practicing what you have now learned. You remember the scripture says, you know, if we hear the word of God and we do not do it, it does not profit us anything. It is like a man who looks in the mirror and when he walks away, he forgets what he looked like. That's what the scripture says. We must practice it. We must exhibit it. We must live it out. That's the true sign of the change. And so Paul said in Hebrews 12 and 4, he said, I must strive against sin. I have to strive against sin. Because even though the Holy Spirit gives me the power to live above sin, I have to want to live above sin. Because, you know, a lot of times when we sin as Christians, you know, and we blame the devil, the devil had nothing to do with it, you know. We sin because we wanted to sin. Well, the very Bible tells us that when we are tempted, we are led away after our own loss, our own desires. We really wanted to do it. If we didn't want to, we have enough power in us to stand against it. So we must strive against sin. Paul told Timothy, fight the good fight of faith. It means we must put some effort into it. We've got to work at it. He said that I must run the race in such a way that I will win the prize. So, it's time for us to work it out. God has worked within us. We now need to show it. It's time for the changed me to be seen. I must make the effort to obey the word of God, to operate according to the new man, so that that which is within me is also what comes out of me. And so we will have true synergy between the inner man and the outer man. So let's start working out our salvation. Or in another way, let's work outward our salvation. Let's talk about it today. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and definitely let's comment. Let's have a discussion as we seek to work outwardly the inward work of the Holy Spirit. God bless you.